Me, it's your boy Drew up here, back with another video, and today, I got a special for you guys, man, today we're going to be revisiting the queen herself, now a lot of people says, Android 18, now, we got to revisit her, bro, I feel like Androids might get some love, we might see an Android Ella, who knows, bro, we don't, we don't know what's going to happen, but, with the new Plaid Equip, it does buff Android Saga Z. This 18 is from Android Saga Z, so I'm like, you know what, bro? I think she's probably the second unit that I wanted to showcase, bro. I feel like all the other ones are pretty mad. So her, Future Han, I want to revisit her. Extra damage to Sans, bro. You guys already know what she does. So this Plaid Equip does help her out because it does favor more base strike attacks. She's a strike-based unit. Gave her the, you guys see the equips for her and everything. And yeah, let's get on the match. You guys know what she do, bro. Every time she faces a new enemy, car draw speed. She uh, she, she reduces, she gets 10 key when she when she pops the blast. She does extra damage to when she pops the strike. Let's get on these matches. So first match, facing up against USS. So I'm, I'm actually rocking Cell, bro, because I still want to use his whole gaze and everything. And just the plan equip definitely helps him out, bro. That's like Especially the, the, da the inflicted damage, bro. Uh, buff like extra 20 helps the defense the uh, everything that's about the honest kid is really amazing right so i thought on 18 i sized up and i attack immediately he does not size up so i go with the blast card here thinking that he's going to go to purple jiren but he doesn't he goes to green frieza which i was kind of surprised i go with the blast there and i do have my russian hand so i pop the green card i kind of like move back a little bit to see what he's doing but frieza does destroy your Dragon Balls after the enemy attack is over. So I didn't have my rush there because he destroys one of my Dragon Balls. So I go to Red 21. One thing I like about Red 21 is when she cover chains, she does seal strikes. So that's one thing that I like about her when she cover chains. So I tackle her, tackle right there, and I pop the main ability, see what he's doing. He's backing up. So I pop the blue card because I don't want him to blast match me. And I thought that was going to kill. So I you know, get him with the tap bait and I'm able to kill Kyle and Goku, which is perfect. So I go to 18 right there. I, I pause a little bit, pop the green card just to see the strike damage that she can do. And I believe I try to pop the main ability, but right here he forfeits. And because he already knew what was about to happen. Right? 18 was about to get was about to go crazy. And she was about to tee up on him. She was about to tee up. He doesn't have Kyle Kangoku, so he was definitely I was definitely gonna make sure he was not gonna win. So 18 for the win, bro. 18 for the win. So next match, face up against Super Saiyan, right? So I was thinking about making this big, but I was like, nah, bro, uh, but he's rocking, you know, Bardock because of the new free-to-play Trunks, which is actually really, really solid unit, right? Really solid unit for four stars. So he goes in with Gogeta. I switched into Cell because I had a feeling that he was going to pop a Blast card, right? So I pop the blue card there, get that damage. He switches to the yellow Trunks. But look at the damage that Cell does. Man. That's pretty impressive. I know he's four stars, but that's some good damage so i go to 18 right here just to start getting the damage going and we're basically about to run combo this this yellow trunks he attacks there so i sized up waited for him to i thought he was going to sized up right there but he actually did not so i have to switch out and go to the green 18. he pops the blue card hoping that he doesn't faint me which he doesn't so pop the main ability just to get the extra health for our green 18 and stuff because green 18 does have support for in her kit the to her to her allies right so i tackle here and i attack immediately and i just go to 18 because like i said it's about it's about 18 it's not about cell like we already seen how cell does with his plat equip but this vid is about the android female android 18. so right here i pop the main ability either bardock is going to die or the future trunks he lets go of future trunks which is the smart decision because Bardock is more important than the future trunks. Like, he's not going to come back from you. So, you need Bardock for the crit buffs. So, I tackle there. He pops the main ability. So, uh, I think I go to the green 18. I should have just let yellow 18 eat the damage. I feel like she was not going to get one combo. But, that was actually kind of a bad play on my part. So, he tackled me there. I go with the blast card, right? He sidestep. And he tried to pop the green card. He thought I was going to attack immediately, which. I had a feeling he had a green card in his hand because he didn't pop a green card in the whole match. So I was able to rise the rush right there. And I picked the green card. Hopefully he doesn't guess me. We do kill the Gogeta. So we're in a good spot because if you would have killed Cell there, then, uh, then I would have been type disadvantage, right? And he had his rush still. So I popped the main ability. I sized up. And I popped the oak. Oh, I think I popped the strike. And then I tried to go for the LF. But the dude did not want to see the LF from perfect form Cell. So, uh, we got the dub there, but Cell's 
extra damage to Saiyans, bro. Like, this, this sells nasty, bro. He, he's looking really good. I need to get that red slot on his third, on his third slot, bro. Because that's gonna, if I can get that, bro, he, he might, he might make main on my region team. Not gonna lie. So, next match we're facing up against, I believe this is a Gaki setup. Yeah, this Gaki Kaki Goku, right? Yep, Blue Boys. So, locks all my strike cards, bro. Cause that's pretty nice. So I sidestep there. I go to Red Twenty One, and I thought he was gonna sidestep, but. He just attacked immediately, which is, you know, makes sense. So, I attack there. I go to 18, bro. I think I combo drop there, thinking that he was going to go to bottles. So, I pop the the strike card there. I have to wait a little bit just to see what he's doing right here. And then I PV him. And then I attack again. And I pop the green card. And then I combo drop right here. I have a feeling that bottles was going to come by. But the game didn't let me combo drop. He goes to Kyle Goku. And he pops the blue card. So I have to eat the damage, sadly, because I don't want Cell to eat that damage. That's that's gonna do too much damage, right? So I blast match from there. I'm just trying to get my Dragon Balls. That's all I'm trying to do. So I sidestep, pop the main ability, and then I go to Cell. I have a feeling that he was gonna sidestep right there. So just chaining in these blast cards. And I'm just trying to go to 18 so I can chain these cards to strikes. Because he does not have a strike cover change unit right now. So, you know, pop the main ability. I have too many blue cards in my hand. So I just like, you know what, bro? Let me pop the old. Let me lock in his strike cards for seven time accounts and everything. So I pop the blue card. I think I popped the blue card right here, right? And I think sooner I popped the blue card. Yep, I popped the blue card there. I wait a little bit, side stuff, and we do take out bottles, and we still don't have a rush yet. So we can either rush Blue Boys or Kyle and Goku. He tried to attack me. I have my rush right there. He literally seen me pop the blue card, so I'm not expecting him to guess blue card because he probably doesn't know Android 21 kit where she gets a blue card off her main ability so i was able to pop a blue card right there take out blue boys and now we just deal with kyle from goku bro uh and get the dub there so i popped the blast card he was able to catch me there i think i go to red 21 right here just to tank it look at the tankiness bro like i know this is type advantage but that's really good not a lot of reds are tanking that from the goku so i go to sell destroy one of his dragon balls Tap him there. I'm trying to get rid of his. I'm trying to get rid of his his vanish. That's what I'm trying to do with Cell, so I can go to 18, right? So I get rid of his vanish. I size up. He catches me there. Plays pretty patient. Not gonna lie, that was really good on his part. And I just let him combo Cell to death because I don't want him to charge up his gauge, right, and get his vanish. So he doesn't have his vanish back because his gauge is not full. So I pop the green card, and I believe I just wait a little bit, then I instantly go to strike. He rides and rushes me. Thought that his Dragon Ball was going to be gone, but Kyle and Goku just changed too many cards together, so he was going to get that Dragon Ball back, that Cell destroyed. So, 18 does die, so I kind of have to rely on Red 21 to come back for me right here. So, I think he pops the main, and I think I wait a little bit and tackle right here, and then I sidestep, and then I go with the strike, and then I pop the green card so I can get all my like just get more blast on my hands because he's a blast based unit i'm trying to do as much damage to the goku as possible i pop the blast card once again and we get him down to the orange health which is really nice in two combos so i pop the strike once again just to get rid of it and see if i can get his vanish out but he pops a full range of blast so he just chained these cards together and right now i just need to get rid of his vanish once again and i'm also keeping an eye on his gauge because his gauge if i do get his vanish out he can still charge and get it so right here i attack immediately because i had a feeling that he was most likely was going to try to charge and get his vanish kid so i didn't want to try to size stuff because he could just charge and get his vanish gauge and then put myself in a bad position it might lose the game because the guy can go be just so OP, right? But we get the dub there. Really good match. And let's hop into the fourth match. We have two more matches, right? So Red 21 definitely helped us with that match for sure. And when is it going to uh when is it gonna go to the next match, bro? Alright, there you go, there you go, there you go. So next match, green, green, yellow, got key. So one of the better teams in the game. I literally had to come and counter them because the team is insane. So Go to bottles. He goes with a up close, an up close blast. I was like, all right, bro, we're gonna take advantage of this 18, do an 18 thing, double card draw speed. Actually, card draw speed because one, because Kyle and Goku destroys, like he gives you negative card draw speed, right? So, right there, we already have four Dragon Balls, which is pretty nice. I still stay with 18, bro, because once the the card draw speed goes away from Goku, bro, like I'm gonna have two card draw speed. Right, he switches in front of me again. I go with the strike. 
and then I'm just chaining these cards together. I think I go to sell because this type of vanish, right? And I'm popping these blast cards together. And I think what I should have done, I think I should have just kept 18. And I should have just stayed with 18. But I ride the rush here. One thing about this Vegeta, he does go type no when his allies gets hit. So right now he's not type advantage. So not type advantage, he's type neutral right now. And this Vegeta is really tanky, bro. Like look at this. Look at this. like he actually survived the rush too barely from Cell. Uh like this is pretty impressive on Vegeta's part. Like really, really impressive. Like he barely survives, but like barely survives. So we did not kill. I popped the main ability, I sized him, and I instantly popped the old card just to see if I can get advantage. But he attacks immediately and we override the strike card. So we instantly take out Vegeta. Shout out to Cell man. And it's a 3v2. Now, us not taking out Vados is really good first because we took out one of his heavy hitting units. So now he has to, all the pressure goes to Kyle King Goku for him to do all the damage. Because Vados, the only thing that he's gonna do with Vados is to buy time, heal, pop the main ability, and heal, and all that stuff. But the person that's gonna do the most damage is this Kyle King Goku. So I'm just, eating, I'm just letting Red 21 eat all the damage, bro. I'm not even gonna try to size up in front of him because he wants me to size up. He wants me to get catch me at a time step, like a time stop and get me, right? So eating this damage with Red 21 still, like she's tanking really, really well. So he can combo me for 20 cards, bro, and she's just eating the damage. So I go to sell there, destroy. I thought he was gonna go with a blast card, destroy one of the Dragon Balls. And I think I sized him in front of him, so he just instantly pops the old cord, takes out Cell. So uh, that was definitely a bad way of using Cell right there, because he I didn't get rid of his banish. He just literally died, and now it's a 2v2. So I tackle once again. I think I sized him, go with the strike, and I thought he was going to get me there, but he didn't. So I go with the blast cards, bro, 18, has double call. I think double, no. yeah, double call draw speed, because I did get in front of Kyle and Goku before Vado, so I have all these cards in front of me. I popped the old card because I wanted to pop it so I could seal his strike cards. If I would have popped the blast cards, he would still have strike cards available, so I wanted to end it off with the old cards. So now all he can do is use blast cards or or tackle me. So I kind of limit his card uh, avail like use that what he can do. So I was able to limit him with no strike cards to use for seven time accounts. And that's how I was able to, that's how I was just confidently use all my blast cards. And we get the dub there. We take out Green Green Yellow, a really strong team. I know I color counted them, but uh, you have the best unit, the best gun guy unit in the game. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, your team is just too easy to color counter. So, last match, 14 star Ultra Gogeta, right? So, we got to lock in, right? So, Green, yellow, purple, bro. Really just want to stop Gogeta 4 and Ultra Gogeta. And then Oob, I just kind of just have to deal with, bro. Like, Oob is really tanky. He has the endurance. I don't have no unit that nullifies endurance besides Cell's ultimate card, even though he's type disadvantage against Oob. So, I chill here, and he gets the green card going, so he gets the extra card. So, I go to 18. I don't want green 18 to take too much damage. I need her to stop Ultra Gogeta as much as possible, right? So I'm not trying to get PV here, so that's why I kind of wait a little bit. So I sized up, attack immediately, and I'm just chaining these blast cards with the uh, chain these cards with a blast. He goes to Gogeta 4. So one of his universe cover chains is out the way. I pop the green card to see what he's doing and I just need to get the next combo. So I go to mid-range strike to see if he was gonna side step. I go to blast card, got a feeling that he was going, he was not gonna use the strike card right there. So I pop the blue card instead of the green i think i just to get the damage going right just to get the damage so i pop the green card with green 18. i see him attacking he does a tap blast but we rushed at the perfect time for him the perfect frame for him not to size up out of that tap blast if we would have popped the rush anything later than that he was able he would have been able to evade it so we literally had the perfect perfect immaculate timing shout out to zvg so we kill Gogeta 4. Really good spot, right? So really good spot. I pop the main ability. I have a green card. So what I need to do is I'm just not going to attack him. I'm just going to let him attack me. One thing about green 18 is when you do pop the green card with her, he, she does restore her vanish. So I just play passive right here. He kind of knows that about her kit, so he didn't play aggressive. So I tackled her. I should have just went with the mid-range strike, not going to lie. I think that's what I should have done. But he doesn't have his rush. So right now, for sure, because I popped the blast card. So he does not have his rush, but he goes with a full range strike. He kind of knew I was going to play aggressive right there. And that was a really smart play, but I'm not going to lie. So now he gets a free combo going. 
I let Cell take the damage. I think I should have let 18 take the damage. So I just I just felt like 18 should have took the damage because she's just a lot more tankier. But we do get the combo going with her, and I'm just trying to just do damage to Ultra Gogeta. Look how tanky Ultra Gogeta is right now. So I think I do pop the old card just because why not, bro? I just want the damage out, and whoever takes the damage, I'm perfectly fine with it. So we're going to seal one of these units strike cards for seven time accounts so i can kind of play more aggressive right uh i could actually go for more tackles because he doesn't have it so i do tap right there i do over tap and my dude rushes the green 18 which is actually a terrible idea like that's like, oh, terrible for my part because green 18 i need her to counter ultra gogeta bro so bad play by my part by over tap right there because i could have just sided the once popped the green card got my vantage back and then i could have did a combo on Oog and everything, right? So he bounced the main ability, he bounced the green card. I was not expecting him to have the green card like that, so I'm just letting 18 take the damage because I don't want Sal to take the damage. Type disadvantage is just not a smart thing to do, right? You have an endurance unit and arguably the second best unit in the game. I need 18 to take it. And 18 defense actually looking pretty solid. I know Oog isn't the best in terms of the, uh, attack, but she's doing some great tanking, bro. Really, really great tanking. So I popped the green card. And I'm just trying to farm for my second rush, bro. So I pop these green cards just to get them out of my hands because Cell's green card isn't really the best. So I want to get those out the way. So I tackle right there. We do get the combo going. And I believe I go to Cell right here just to see if I can get, if I can kill Gogeta in this combo. That's what I'm praying for right now is can this old card kill Ultra Gogeta? Uh, I know my gauge isn't filled. So that's definitely gonna hurt the ult damage by half, I believe. So I do pop it, we do barely kill. So I try to go to the mid-range area to see if he's gonna play aggressive and pop a blast card and I can blast on him with my strike. But he goes with a tackle and I was able to counter it and we do take out Ultra Gogeta. So that's pretty nice. So now it's a 2v1 with Oob right now. Uh, he does do that damage against Cell, so I switch. I think I get, try to get rid of his vanish. I sidestep and I go to 18, pop the green card to do as much strike damage as possible so I can just get Oob first life out the way so then I can just rush. So I go with the blast card there and then I finish it off with the blue card just to get his, try to get his first life out the way. And I'm just waiting for Cell's timer count to come back. So I still, I stay there, pop the blast card just to reduce the amount of cards he has and if he does rush i can throw out cell now because i buy i bought myself enough time for cells time to come to be back he rushes he's going to take out cell that already has sliver hp and if he would have rushed the 18 he, he would have had a better chance of winning so we do get rid of his i'm just trying to get rid of his banish he doesn't pv me i sidestep and pv him and that's basically the game so 18 with the plat looking pretty solid he does the thing that she always does is destroy things, bro, and she looked really solid in this showcase. Let me know what you guys think about 18 with the plat. Um, hopefully, more Androids support for her, bro. Hopefully, Androids love. Um, that's it with this video. Like, comment, subscribe. It's Baby Mo Girl, man. I'm out.